Good morning. Come spend the day with me. We got a new shower head. They put that shower head in. I like it so much better. And then those nozzles. I know they're old school still, but they're better than they were. The ones that were in here were really old and needed to be replaced. The shower head was new, but they put like the cheapest one on there and it just wasn't working right. So yeah, the plumber fixed this shower and the other shower. He did a really good job and answered any questions we had. So that was good. We had somebody good this time. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the shower and get ready for the day. This is what I do when I'm not washing my hair. Just tie it up. I wash my face when I get out of the shower. Plus because of my lashes. Just did my lashes again. You know my usual sweet cream from Tree Hut. I just love this stuff. So sometimes I wash my bangs if they're super oily sometimes i don't i'm just gonna wash this part right here this part because this is on my face my face gets oily my hands so i'm gonna show you my little hack for the girlies that get oily hair but they don't want to wash their whole head every day because it's not good for your hair to do that and then everyone's saying just go without washing it that doesn't work i've tried that I've tried everything, nothing works. The only thing that works is if I wash it, either every day or every other day, however I have to do it. Everybody's hair is different. And then you're not ruining your whole head of hair. <clears throat> My heat protectant on it. I should've got the big bottle of this. This smells really good. So does this, but this smells really good. Put some heat protectant all over. You guys asked me my favorite skincare. These are my go-to skincare products I'm using. La Roche-Posay Cleanser. It just lathers really good. I have like a little bit in my hand. I know I always say that, but it just works really good. I'm not an expert at skincare. I'm just learning like by process of elimination. Only because, I mean, you could go to like a dermatologist and see what kind of skin you have. They can tell you what kind of products you need and all that, but who has money for that? I'm trying to learn and figure out what works best for my skin because even if you buy exactly what you're told, it still might not work for you. Everybody's different. I think La Roche-Posay is worth it or CeraVe. They're affordable. You just gotta see what works best for you. I recently started using the Fix, but I'm gonna try to stick with this. I've just been doing the cleanser and then this, the vitamin C serum is not just vitamin C. I think it has vitamin C, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, all three in one product. And it smells really good. His eye cream has multiple products in it too. It's supposed to be good for dark circles, wrinkles, puffy eyes, just everything. It smells good too. And it's blue, look how cool that is. This is a little pricey, but you only need like a little bitty bit, so it should last you for a while. And then the peptide serum, this, some women were saying they could see like instant results of the wrinkles going away, I don't know. I use Botox, which I have to go soon again. I think next month. Okay. La Roche-Posay SPF Moisturizer. I got my shirts in the mail, the ones I ordered from TikTok shop. They were shipped from China, but I think they only took like a week or so to get here. Wait till you see them, they're so cute. And then the bodysuit company sent me two bodysuits. I'm gonna do a review video on those. I'm just gonna do a little bit on my face here. You know, my concealer, concealer hack or whatever you wanna call it. I just like it better. I like this CoverGirl. I haven't tried any other foundation, like the CoverGirl foundation or L'Oreal, but this has been working and it's affordable, so I just keep doing it. I use the CoverGirl concealer. It's full coverage. And what I do to cover up my pimples, I tried to make a video, but I don't know if it made sense. My makeup hack video. Like I have these spots here. I just put, I usually, I, I put it on first. I'll put two little spots. Let it dry for a second and then pat it down. Spray it. Let it dry. 
pat it down. I do that and then spray, let it dry, and then put your foundation or concealer, whatever, over it. That's just how I usually do it. And it keeps everything covered. And you guys were asking me where I got this. It's just a regular eyebrow brush, but I just bent it. I got this from Wink Click. It was like six bucks. My sister just asked me if I was gonna come see them for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna figure that out, cause that's next week. We shall see. I haven't seen them in a while. Iconic setting spray for the glow. Y'all know I love the glow. But yeah, they do have two shades. I have this one in a darker, like bronzier color. Okay, let me change, cause I gotta get out of here. Fit check. Hoodie from Amazon, American Eagle jeans, and my 2000s boots. All right, we gotta go. Let's go to the dentist. Wish me luck, hopefully my tooth will numb. They have cute decorations in here, look. Very festive and it smells like cinnamon. Here we go. Here's my throne to sit on. This is for YouTube today. My YouTube family. Hi, YouTube family. <laughs> I hope my mouth numbs. I really hope so. It's been two or three times now. It hasn't. My mouth won't numb. Back here, not here. I'm trying to figure it out. We'll see. I'm back home. He couldn't get my mouth to numb. I was there for like three hours. They tried. He was saying my nerve, it's not down here where most people's nerve is. Mine's like way back here. And I don't know if he wasn't getting the nerve or what, but he was saying that I need to be careful what I eat and drink, medications I take like a week before the visit. So I was telling him the medications I take, Azo, my allergy medicine, and then Miralax, I recently took this week, and he thinks the Miralax, where it's so high in acid, that something messing with my stomach, and it's making the numbing not work. I don't know, that's what he's saying, I don't know. But this is the third time he's tried to numb that spot. The only difference is this time, he did an x-ray, because he kept putting the shot in the same spot. I swear I got like, I don't know, like six, seven shots, maybe more. I don't know. He put a lot of shots in my mouth. He put me in a x-ray machine. It like goes around your head. It was weird. He was like pushing in my mouth trying to find the nerve. So when he finally figured out through the x-ray that my nerve was back here, he put one shot in and it numbed it. And then I told him, I'm like, it's still only numbing. It was only numbing to right here. And I needed like my whole face numb. So he puts another shot in and it started numbing down here. But I don't know if he's like... I think he's not hitting the right nerve or something because I've I never had this issue before. But he's saying I need to eat before I come in. He's telling me all these things I need to do. Don't eat this, don't drink that, eat before you come in, all this stuff. But I told him I did the same thing I always do, <laughs> except for the energy drinks. I didn't drink any for the past couple days because I knew that I was going to the dentist. So I don't know you guys, I don't know what's going on with my teeth, I don't know. And he was telling me he can only give me so much of the numbing stuff because of my size. So I don't know how this is gonna play out. I go back next month, we're gonna try it again. I gotta take some Tums the week before. I gotta try to get my acid as low as possible. I gotta watch what I eat, just all these things. So for dinner, this is what I'm having, don't judge me. They had this at Publix, uh, the sweet and sour chicken. I've been looking for this one. I've seen the chicken fried rice, shrimp fried rice, but I found the sweet and sour chicken. But it's actually good. This tastes just like the restaurant stuff. I'm gonna try on the new shirts so you guys can see. I am so excited because they're actually so cute. Okay, here's one. It's got the distressed part on the side. I don't know, it's really cute. I really like it with some jewelry. It's gonna be really cute. And I got my boots on. <laughs> But yeah, I really like this. They only had this and one other color and I got both colors. Here's the gray one, same thing. I put a white shirt underneath it. 
the tag there's no tag around the neck it's on the side so you could wear this on either side honestly I like it in the front but yeah I think it's cute it's gonna be cute with some leggings some gray boots something but yeah <laughs> the sleeves are long enough it's like real sweater material it's good quality I'm surprised these were six dollars <laughs> cute my favorite one I'm about to show you right now this is my favorite one look at this look at the neck that's so cute that's why I didn't really care the other shirt I tried on at TJ Maxx it didn't look right like this looks right on me that other one it was like the sleeves were just weird and was rising up when I raise my arms I want my shirt to stay down I don't want it to ride all the way up so that's why I didn't get it because I knew this was coming but this is so cute for six dollars come on now <laughs> you can't beat that this might be my new favorite shirt I love this though right here I wish they had more colors but they don't I'm so happy I got it it took like a week to get here something like that it was around a week yeah so cute I'm gonna show you the two bodysuits that mango pop is the company that they sent me I have the black one I already made a video with that one but I'll show you the two that they sent me. Here's the pink bodysuit. It's really cute. Put a black vest over it. That will be really cute. This pink and black. Oh, I'm going to look on TikTok shop and see if I can find a short, a shorter, like fitted puffy vest. And then that'll be perfect with this. Oh my gosh, it'll look so cute. But I like the color. <laughs> you know me in the pink. Let me show you the other bodysuit I got. Here's the green one I got. I'm going to put my vest on just to see what it looks like. I mean, that's not bad, right? I mean, it's different, but I got it to match to go with this. Now, this has drawstrings on it to where you're supposed to be able to make it like shorter, but this is a small, this is the smallest they had. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'll keep it. It doesn't look bad. I just think I need one that's a little more like this. Just a little bit smaller. I think that would look better. But it's not bad. I got it for like 12 bucks. So <laughs> yeah, cute. I have the white sleeveless and then with sleeves. So I bought the black long sleeve from Amazon. I bought the white sleeveless and then I bought the short sleeved white one all from Mango Pop before they reached out to me. I told you guys about it. I had bought those bodysuits and then they reached out to me on TikTok to see if I would make a video if they sent these. So they sent me the pink and the green one. So I'm going to make a TikTok video and put it on my TikTok shop because I do like them. I like their, their bodysuits are cute. They actually fit. It's just the pink... You can't see like my bra straight through, but you can see the lining right here, like the the lining of the bra, but not the bra, if that makes sense. But this one's fine. I think they're so cute. They're comfy. They're, they're cotton. I told you guys I like cotton material. I'm happy that I got the stuff that I got. It's really cute, really affordable. Yay, and it fits. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with my boyfriend. He's off today. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. See you guys.